up against Johnston, Cooley, and Christopoulos with Parrott and Rebo. The Bulldogs in the home blacks trimmed with the white and gold. The visiting Spitfires, the whites, trimmed with the red and blue. And it's Andrew Parrott and Arbor Jackeye squaring off at center ice. Two of the toughest customers in the Ontario Hockey League, and Jackeye gets him to the ice. That is a heavyweight tilt of heavyweight tilts. Well, I have to think that's uh, maybe a little retribution uh, by Windsor for the hit in game one by Jackeye and D'Amico that a few keyboard warriors on Twitter thought was going to be uh, suspension worthy, but the OHL, who has the final say in these matters, decided it wasn't. And for Arbor Jackeye and Andrew Parrott, not the first time those two have collided, and they are grinning and smiling at one another. That's two guys who don't mind playing the physical game. This first period of game one, uh, pardon me, of game two of the OHL Finals on Cable 14, brought to you by... Mishok over to Morrison. Wide side has Mason McTavish to the front. Medina kicks that away. Bouncing rebound. Morrison gets a stick to it. Tries to roll it up the boards. Hayes on to Jackeye. Over to McTavish. Just a little bit out of his reach. Mason McTavish off the right circle. Low to Hayes. Out front. Just missed the tape of Mishok. Morrison. Low to Hayes once more. Hayes works the outside. Jackeye middle of the line. On to McTavish right. Back to Jackeye middle. McTavish right one more time. That one comes off the stick. Johnston on the draw. Johnston got it back, but the Bulldogs were able to loosen it away. Morrison to the line. Jackeye over to the right. McTavish. Cooley watching him. Gets back left. Morrison out top. Jackeye's drive. Bouncing puck in the slot. Wooden's Windsor doing business. That's something not quite right about that. Lawson Shirk trying to work his way down the middle and scores. Oh. And comes in with a great shot to beat Anuska who faces his first shot of this game, and it's 3-1 Hamilton with 4.09 to go. And that could have been uh, could have been one there. What a chance here for Windsor to reverse the momentum. First Ontario Credit Union penalty kill back into action for the Bulldogs. Penalty kill was good in game one. Windsor dented it early on in this first period as the puck gets bounced back to the line. Hano. Windsor one for one on the power play. All the way around, Jackeye jams it, and that will bounce. Take out, tries it, missed picking that top corner, not by much, what a catches move. back glass. What a move by Wyatt Johnson, first round pick of the Dallas Stars, and they've got a good one on their hands. Oh, is he a good hockey player? Arbor Jackeye and a steal through neutral ice on his forehand, and Anushka out at the top left in the man advantage, buck six left in the first period. Well, we saw Jackeye score a short and goal earlier this season, it was the first Bulldogs shorthanded goal from open play. Jonathan Bali had two shorthanded goal penalty shots, which is an OHL record. And he just comes in here, just gets a shot on net, and that's a smart thing as well. Get that puck on goal. Over to McTavish. McTavish low on the right side. Hayes back to McTavish in the right circle. Fires. Just couldn't get that inside the post. And it'll come all the way out to neutral ice for Jackeye to get on. Jackeye quickly to McTavish. Tried to bunt it back. Wyatt Johnston in that lane. Feeds over to Will Cooley. Cooley cuts away. Johnston on. His shot comes off the end boards. And Mishok was back to make the play defensively. People who've watched our broadcast regularly know that Zamboni door behind the Hamilton net here in the second period sometimes gives some funky little hops. This was definitely funky. Yeah, Wyatt Johnson stealing this puck coming in all kinds of time, using Mishok as a screen. And that just goes right off of Costantini and over. Off Costantini. Millette gets the face off. It's Ryan Abraham out high. He gets slammed to the boards by Arbor Jackeye. And now Noah Van Vliet will turn it back on to Jackeye. Quickly on ahead, Hayes. Flips it wide, Noah Van. Hank Rushnikov just went down the tunnel to get stitched up. Morrison. Trying to get the puck loose off the faceoff. Comes around the back of the net. Rebo didn't get what he wanted on that. Puck might have hopped on him. Rebo turns it back again. Puck comes loose. Knocked down by Jackeye, middle of the line. Jackeye steps wide on Renwick, the defenseman who came out to keep him from getting a shot away. McTavish, right point, middle of the line. Jackeye waits. On the left is Morrison. Low is Hayes. Has a look out front. Brings it out front. Couldn't tuck it past Medina, who kicked away. Jackeye, middle of the line. Playing catch with McTavish on the right. 
Jack Eye turns and twirls for Morrison left. Low, Hayes off the goal line and scores! Avery Hayes has stayed white hot on this playoff run. It's 4-1 Bulldogs as Hayes tucks in a beauty. One undisciplined penalty by Will Cooley gives Hamilton a power play opportunity and they cash in to go up 4-1 and Hayes had given this look, Reed, as you mentioned, a couple of times. That time he walks out just a little bit farther and rifles it in past Medina to give Hamilton a 4-1 lead midway through the second period. Yeah, I was amazed at the time that Avery Hayes here had. He takes a look, all kinds of time. Oh, let's put it right there, right between the legs of Medina. Bulldogs up 4-1. Well, and this wins the chance on White Johnson sneaking in. What a play by Arbor Jackeye. Michael Renwick plays the puck low. Curry bringing it around back of the Hamilton net. To the point, Hano. Humphrey confronted him. Puck chopped wide of the Hamilton net. Johnston shoveled to the corner boards. Miedema turns it. Humphrey trying to knock that down. Grushnikov's there as well. Hano gets it. Hano shoved off by Arbor Jackeye, and that one will be rolled. Paired in the I right think place. Dwart right anticipated time. that coming off a, a little quicker from Jorian Donovan and uh, was out in front of it. Just, the change up. Just off the heel there, Troy. Dwart off the faceoff win from Eshock. Gets it to White. Shot on. Save made by Xavier Medina. And just want to say a word about the work that last. Bulldog bench. It's five on four de facto as Hayes goes down the tunnel and Winterton knocks down Rebo, who they may be flagging as the man who got a piece of Avery Hayes. And now Arbor Jackice being pulled to the penalty box again. Or is he? Yeah, it looks like they're they're calling Jackeye, and all Jackeye was doing was he was essentially standing over top of Rebo on the end of the play. And now Rebo and Humphrey get tied up. The Bulldog zone is Hayes. Crosses up and, oh, he might've got the knee of Rebo uh, in a very awkward position. I'm curious yeah. what they're gonna call Jack guy for here. He is, uh, O'Flaherty actually give him a bit of a cross check, a bit of the business from behind there. And O'Flaherty was also uh, having a discussion with Ryan Winterton, and it was so. Uh... Renwick knocks Hayes down. Hayes hops right back to his feet, tries to poke the puck away from Wyatt Johnston. Flipped it looking for Cooley. Jack, I picked it off. Now Morrison steps down, draws to his backhand, and Renwick with a hit to stop what would have been a goal. Huge defensive play by Michael Renwick. Overtime hero in game one. Solid defensive play there by Renwick. Renwick turns middle for Will Cooley. Steps out to his right. Cooley turns away from the jack eye contact. Works the top of the slot with time and sent that one wide. Renwick around back of the Hamilton goal. Grushnikov's there. Body to body with Johnston and now it's out to jack eye for Hayes. Hayes over the Windsor line, looking at a potential three on two. Jack Eye around Maggio. On his backhand, what a goal! Arbor Jack Eye shows slick skills for the big man as he goes upstairs over Medina. 5 2 for Hamilton with 18 seconds left in the second period. Norm, what Arbor Jack Eye brings to the table is just so rare. It's a four on four situation. Jack guy's gonna jump in. Nice little drop pass there and just uh, roofs his backhand in tight. That's a 50 goal scorer's finish read. Don't expect to see that from a defenseman, but what a finish by Arbor Jack guy. It's Jack guy six of the postseason. Hey, that is just brilliant by a defenseman. Bar south. 5-2 Hamilton, 19 seconds to go. And in that four-on-four -four situation, Hamilton able to cash in. Windsor had the power play. Had Side by Medina. Back to the line, Donovan off the left. That one will deflect in deep. DeAngelis over top of it. Able to knock it away from two as Shirk and Duart were right there. Sobolev turns to DeAngelis. 
Marco Friedman back at the station who's been incredible for us this season. And of course, my thanks to no on McTavish. Jan Mishok on the faceoff. Around the back, McTavish on for Hayes, playing for Morrison. Puck tied up along the left wing corner boards. Morrison fed over, McTavish loose, backhand, and he can't get it underneath the bar. Morrison on the left side, plays low for Avery Hayes. Hayes stacked into the boards, and Sobolev will play it on for Millette. And now Millette will carry on and out. Crossing over to the right wing side from the right circle. Hit the goal post. Might have left a dent as Arbor Jackeye collects the puck. That was a tough angle, and Millette still got that right to the frame. Yeah, he's been really impressive so far in this series for Windsor. He certainly has. Yeah, Millette lets out a scream as he gets to that Windsor bench. He's frustrated. He knows he had Cossettini on that one. Collect the puck. Wyatt Johnston approaches, stole it, but the puck hit the apron of the goal. Bulldogs with a little bit of a lucky break there. Oh, yeah. So far, this power play has been an adventure for Hamilton, and luckily, a couple moments of good fortune. Yeah. The line, and oh, six on five, as Norm mentioned. Medina to the bench. Parrott sent that one wide of Cooley. Still 5.07 left in the third period, so Mark Savard being very aggressive and well, why not? You're in the OHL final and you're up a game. As D'Amico, out top, Parrott's drive, scores! And it pays off! The shot goes back in, which is what I suspected they would do. Now you're within two with 4.55.